Uh, so welcome to the Courageous Nerd YouTube channel. My name is Connor. I'm joined today for the second time by Rick Tosnett. Rick, how are you doing today? I'm really good, Connor. It's great to see you again. Oh, oh for sure. Definitely. And uh, I, I know we're here today to talk about your uh, new film, uh, Shoulder Dance. And uh, I suppose like for anyone who hasn't heard of it or isn't familiar with it, how would you set it up? And like, you know, what's the premise? Basically, it's oh, it's delicious. It's wild. Um, mm. They're these two friends that reconnect um, from ch their childhood through teenage years, and they haven't mm. seen each other since they were sixteen. Um, and uh, I come in uh, basically with my girlfriend, and we have we kind of mess shit up, uh, mm. put it that way. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all about relationships and everything gets very messy, intertwined, intertangled. Um, but in the end, it's actually surprisingly heartfelt. I've uh, cried every time I've seen it uh, at festivals. And then I had a little screening with my Australian friends here who mm -hmm. absolutely loved it. It's it's such a romp. It's such a, um, a you know, you're on the edge of your seat uh, emotionally throughout Um and uh, the characters are just really fun to follow because the script is so real mm. and so good. And the relationships uh, between us and the chemistry between us just completely flowed. And it also translated onto the screen, which is quite rare as well. So, mm. um, yeah, I hate giving things away. So that's all I'm going to say. Right. Sure. I mean, was it then the, was it the character or the people you'd be working with that drew you to it? Like what was the main draw to do this yeah, project? Well, uh, Matt Dallas was already cast in it. Matt mm. Dallas, who was Kyle XY. And yeah. Um, He's such a great actor, so I was mm. already attracted to it. First of all, they offered it to me. I didn't have to audition, which oh, is always a great, positive yeah. for me, <laughs> starting mm. off on a good note mm. because I hate auditioning. And then um, the script. The script was just so genius, and they may or may not take certain substances, and it was just really written really accurately about people on the mm. substance. I feel like films so often get it wrong. You know, very often in film, you see someone sort of like someone with cocaine, and then they're like, Ah, mm -hmm. I'm high and it's like wait what whereas this was just very real natural um dialogue and dialogue is usually it's so hard to write and it's not usually great but this yeah. is so good mm -hmm. um so natural and my character is so confident rambunctious I almost like a Jason Momoa type just very comfy in the skin mm -hmm. very you know charismatic and sensual and, and and has no sort of social you know conditioning all that all that stuff he's very free in himself so he mm. teaches other people to be free and i just love that about him and it came in hot every day and um just went for it oh oh for sure yeah and obviously you mentioned uh, matt dallas you know who was kyle xy and, and there's a few of you actually who people would know from like, a lot of other projects i mean you were obviously in the flash among other things i'm wearing yep. a, a star labs hoodie uh, for what it's oh my called. god i didn't know that that's yeah, so yeah, great yeah, <laughs> yeah. um I, yeah, I, 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 I didn't I, see that yeah no I, I actually i mean i own this hoodie coincidentally and i only i only clocked up myself really a few minutes before we signed on like oh, oh yeah like that's a perfect Amazing. guy and it's completely unintentional i've but, got yeah. my star labs jumper right here oh wow that's amazing yeah, I mean, yeah. But, but, I mean, to, to that point, obviously, you did The Flash and some other shows. Uh, Matt was in Kyle X Y. You know, uh, Glee, Gotham are also represented in there a little bit. So yeah, Maggie was in Gotham. Maggie yeah. Gehar, yep, yeah. Um, so, um, uh, Taylor Frey is incredible. Oh my yeah. gosh, yeah, She's such a so, good cast. Uh, had you worked with any of them before, or like, and like, how was your experience working with that group? No, I hadn't worked with any of them before. Um, and it was delicious. I went to set the first day and it was a scene between um, Taylor Frey and Samuel uh, Larson. Mm. And I was just like, oh my God, this is so good. You know, <laughs> just seeing the monitor, seeing what they looked like on screen. Um, they're just wonderful people as well. Very like upwardly mobile people, you know, who do a number of things and are just uh, very well-rounded. And it was just really great to get to know them because it was delicious knowing what the journey that we were going to go on, you know, as characters mm. in between action and cut. And just um, everyone really lent into their character, even though they weren't actually like that in real life, which I only sort of realized as the months have gone on after filming. It's been a mm. year and a half now and we're on a text right. chain. Um, and you realize that I realize Maggie's not actually like that in real life. But mm. I thought she was right. very much like Lily, my girlfriend and Taylor, you know, is not as shy and reserved as his character um and so and i think i'm uh, you know i'm i'm a little a little a little, sh a little more hesitant than my my character was so mm -hmm. it was super super fun to almost transform you know subconsciously i guess 
um, in in and out of, of takes, but it was a very cool vibe on set. Everyone was very free and we gave each other permission to go there, I think, because we were all very open and just really present and just going for it emotionally mm. and physically. And um, the director just really provided, you know, a great um, forum, a nice fertile soil for us just to do our thing mm. and just sort of gently guided us. So, um, yeah, very cool to get to know these people. At first, yeah. obviously, just, you know, using my acting um, craft to kind of project, um, you know, um, and, and substitute for the relationship at first. But then after a while, I just became, you know, I was just using what was right in front of me because they were so incredible so mm. yeah oh oh brilliant I, i'm not actually sure on the top of my head if the film's out or not but i mean uh, where can people catch it if they yes. want to see it it is it's out now it's out on amazon prime it's out oh, on apple great. tv on google play vimeo um dvd might be sold out it's um mm. but it's going really well i think it was number one on the um, amazon list um the dvds were sold out but i think they're getting more um i didn't even know people still had right, right. yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah yeah it's available it's the link is in my bio on instagram at rick Cosnet at the moment oh. um yeah perfect and are, are there any other projects you have uh, recently you want to shout out as well in particular yeah absolutely there's a project called the exchange um which i actually uh written written and directed by taylor frey who's in the shoulder oh. in shoulder down yeah um it's coming out next year um it's a beautiful film um there's a cameo by um Kyle Richards who's in the Real Hustles of Beverly Hills who I'm obsessed with mm. um it's just a super fun romantic comedy um and I play a British person for the first time on screen oh okay um, well so good luck. <laughs> you can yeah. be the judge of my accent yeah yeah we'll see, um, we'll see. yeah <laughs> please don't be too harsh <laughs> but um the, and then I've also got uh, an Apple TV series coming out called uh, Palm Royale which is super fun oh, with Kristen so Lee, Laura Dern Ricky Martin, Alison Janney, Carol Burnett. It's a great, mm. great cast. So that should be being released pretty soon. Um, that's super fun. That's set in the, in the 60s in Palm Beach, Florida. So that's going to be um, hopefully a big one. Mm. We'll see. Oh, great. Well, I mean, yeah, best of luck with with all of those and with uh, Shoulder Dance. You know, we haven't got a lot of time. So, so perhaps this might be a good place to to sign off. And yeah, just again, uh, you know, best of luck with everything going forward. And thank you for taking the time to uh, to chat today. Really great. Thank you, Connor. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Good to see you again. Likewise, likewise. See you in the next couple of years, maybe. <laughs>